Welcome to the Star Wars Collector's Archive Podcast. It's the podcast. Uh, we're uh, this is an emergency episode. Yeah. One twenty-seven is a just just stress call. <laughs> yeah, we're, we are. We're currently okay. So hey, there's some dudes with shovels. Oh hey, that helps. So Steve yeah. is is coming to visit uh, here in uh, Hothchester, New York. Yeah. And um, oh my God, these dudes. What do they think they're going to do? There's these dudes who are trying to. Okay, so we're we're like literally stuck at the bottom of an icy hill. Okay, <laughs> like I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, that's what it looks like outside. All right, this is what Aaron Longbine would call half. Mm -hmm. All right, and so we're dropping off my son of a, we're dropping off my daughter at crew practice. Mm -hmm. They have an indoor crew situation, and uh, um, uh, and we're, so we're stuck. We're stranded. We're just stranded. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is my car. It's my new car. It's called the Silver Sipper. Um, oh my God, these people are coming out with like ice melt. Oh wow, this is getting... Uh, they're all super serious. Oh, okay, they're all walking up here. I'm probably gonna have to talk to them. See, this episode might not even end up happening. <laughs> Who knows what's going well, this on? This is just an intro, right? Like, this is just the, the preamble. I don't know, we don't like do intros. We just <laughs> upload stuff. That's true. Just let them go. <laughs> so what we thought we'd do is, you know, first of all, like tell, you know, so what, like Star Warsy stuff, Steve, what have we done? We've done a couple live streams on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Mostly from this angle when we went and got pizza. Yeah. That's, is there a way right. to get a better angle, Steve? I can hold it. I don't think there's a way to get a worse angle. How's that? Is that... That's, that's hey! Better. That's, that's better. Okay. All right. <laughs> I didn't do my hair today, so apologies go to Michael Cooper. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we went to the, the... We like... What did we do? Nothing Star Wars, really. No, the, the, the museum, the Strong Museum was yeah. pretty great. Um, I remember you talking that up a long time ago. Yeah, so as a vintage Star Wars collector, how is the Strong Museum of Play in Rochester, New York uh, an appetizing place? I mean, it's got the 12 back display mm -hmm. done well, like the story's told well, yep. and then... Yeah, so it has like a 12 back certificate, plus yep. eight 12 backs, plus four loose ones. Well, the four loose figures that are not carded. Um, it's got the little plaque there with yep. the story. This is what it looks like, by the way. That's our hill. <laughs> And, and everyone else is out helping. Is and we're just recording a podcast. <laughs> the crew members are out there clearing the road, and yeah. Is... And we're just, the thing is, California. He's a little California pedal boy over here. Yeah, I, I mean, I was gonna offer my best. I mean, I can show you the shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> look, at what, look at what he brought to look at what he brought to New York in the winter. <laughs> it's not, not great. Uh, I, he's got foot juice all over my Sorry. my car. Foot juice. <laughs> So yeah, so that was really fun, and uh, they have lots of like the really fun thing is that they have all sorts of displays all the yeah. way throughout. Like they have a perfect Hoth recreation mm -hmm. where they have the the the. I have to turn down the heat. It's a little bit intense here. Um, not that. How do I? This is a new car. The silver sipper. Um, there you go. So uh, you know they they have a perfect like totally vintage accurate Hoth display. Yeah, using just, all the mini rigs and all the. Yeah. the the Wampa, the Tauntaun, everything. Yeah, it just makes you love, just love it. It's really fun. And then the rest of it, they have just goofy stuff, like a, <laughs> like uh, Chief Chirpa riding a do-back, yeah. you know, like behind glass. It's a real fun yeah. energy. Yeah, it's all mixed throughout. Um, and I love that it looks like, it's like if, if a kid was able to curate the displays with whatever toys they wanted, but then the, the legitimate story of said toys is told behind it. Like yeah. that's, that's why I, I find it really charming. But, yeah. Yeah. So that's the Museum of Play, and they have like a little plaque to Bernie Loomis mm -hmm. and to Bob Iger and George Lucas. Yeah. Um, in order, the most important people to Star Wars. <laughs> they don't have one yet for Kathleen Kennedy, so. No, not yet. Uh -oh. but, yeah. Who's the Who's the Hasbro guy? Like, I'm sure there's. Was it Daryl oh. DePriest? You getting text? Uh, oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Okay. Cause, so we're like stuck, man. We're mm -hmm. like our wives are just holding down the fort, taking care of the kids. I, I built a fire just to like sort of show off to the to the Californians and I put way too many logs in the fire like the, the den is like, <laughs> it's like looks it's like the like, end it was of uh, like a sauna it was really nice yeah, it's like the end of uh, Indiana Jones like hey Sky nice fire <laughs> you yeah. were the closest so yeah, yeah and you then were. now we got this yeah we're getting all the extremes but you know, we still have power. That's good. Yeah, I, I wanted to. I wanted to take your daughter uh, sledding in our backyard. 
And we probably could, but we're never getting out of here, Steve. We are not getting out of here. <laughs> One of us is going to have to split the belly of the other eventually. <laughs> Just to crawl inside, and then once the car dies, then yeah. we're... <laughs> we just have to have a no thought they smelled bad on the outside joke no. and going. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we're stuck here, and then uh, uh, the, the wonderful uh, Mrs. Danley uh, said, "Why don't you guys just record your episode now?" Yeah, that was actually it was a really good. So good that's tip. why this is 127, Steve. What is yeah, it? Yeah, it's 127. Yeah. yeah, it's 127, and uh, it's like, what can we possibly talk about? <laughs> you know, I mean, we just did our whole. Star Wars collecting sucks now. Right. Um, and I gotta say, didn't get much reaction. <laughs> Got so little reaction that I called out Michael Havens by name and, and discussed him with nuance for like half an hour. And there's been no no threats or no any, threats any, or yeah. accusations. Ug ugliness. Or, That's good. Which either means <laughs> either a we're totally irrelevant, or two that you know he's he's like kind of grown up and he's able to understand the nuance and I've built up goodwill with him so he knows that we're all just in this together you know and let's let's hope for that but yeah also um, merch idea um, swag idea okay. I think we need to get conductor hats <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not I'm not trying to Mr. Nice Guy but wouldn't that be awesome yeah. if we had Star Wars Collectors Archive collector hat I mean like, like, conductor yeah, hats yeah I, with like little patches on the front yeah I, <laughs> I can see that Right. You're, you're really going to carry through with the the train track, the track cause right? Because yeah. because that's if you don't if you didn't listen to the last episode, that's fine. <laughs> you join the billions. Yeah. <laughs> the the idea was that because Michael Havens calls the IC a, a railroad that's going down the tracks, and he'll invite anyone on, but if you don't get on the train, he'll run you over. My plan is, hey, you have your train, we have our train, and we can all just have all these trains. We can crisscross. We could be like yeah. that railroad magnet uh, <laughs> board game that my my son likes so much. <laughs> So, right. so conductor what hats. I like that. Yeah. Yes. So okay. what we're gonna do? Uh, yeah, we're gonna make those, Steve. Yeah. Star Wars collectors archive conductor hats. I mean, yeah, yeah. Hats. They're like, I, like if we just make like a hundred. How much can that be? What? It can't be much because like, ten bucks a piece. That's what a thousand bucks. All right, that's I, a lot. I, our daughter went to a railroad themed birthday party at a railroad museum, and like one of the party favors was a conductor hat. So I think we buy the conductor hats in bulk. That's we make it. the things, but then. <laughs> What do we, how do we get them on the hat? Yeah, I don't know. Iron-ons? <laughs> yeah, let's do the iron-on thing. All right. If you want to help, let us know. Okay. Uh, that'll be for Celebration 2000. Who the hell cares? 40. <laughs> I'm not going to Tokyo. No. I'm not going to Tokyo to look at Star Wars toys. I've been there before. I could do it. It's could a great not, place. Couldn't justify it. But, but yeah. moving on to the, the nut of today's episode, which is one of the things... Okay, so I, I said a couple of things. One thing was... Uh, a problem with the hobby was uh, do or not do, um, <laughs> which, you know, deal or no deal, and I won something on that, and I was maybe going to show that off. So maybe I'll figure out how to show that off. Maybe, yeah. maybe I don't really know how I'm going to upload this. <laughs> but I got a cool Panasonic catalog, and, and that was cool. But yeah. we, we watch, join up on our Facebook and watch the live thing about that. But instead what we're going to do is we're going to do a market watch game, <laughs> see if I can get okay. within... Five hundred dollars of the most recent Hakes auction. Now this is where Steve would be really cool if we had pictures of the stuff. <laughs> well, I don't have pictures either. I just no, Steve, look it up. Look it up. Because, <laughs> okay. No, no, because I on uh, I think the New England, the New England oh, collectors thing. I think he had pictures. One in there? Okay. So you can just hold up the That's picture to the phone so they can look at it. Yeah, perfect. Okay. <clears throat> I yeah, did. Hey, now. look at that. The car's coming down. Oh, that's good. We might spell an end here. This is how my hair looks in high school, actually. <laughs> it's actually like my full-on high school haircut right there. All right, let's see if I can find it here. All right, so that's at least good that they're coming down. But yeah, now, that's 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 good. Okay. Now there's a, a what the, look at this. Where'd this guy come from? Whoa. Where'd he come from? <laughs> Where'd you come from, buddy? <laughs> yeah, how many times I've been stuck on this hill? Oh, this is oh. gonna. Oh, this is gonna get this is gonna get real. Yeah, it's happening over here. <laughs> Someone's coming down. That's good. That's good. That's a good sign. <laughs> yeah, except now I gotta figure out how to back up. <laughs> so I'm just bear gonna... with us, folks. That's okay. You keep looking up the thing. I, okay, I, I can see behind me. Can you market watch and do this at the same time? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh hell yes. <laughs> Biggie. <clears throat> All right, I've got the rear view mirror in this awesome Prius, <laughs> Prius Prime, Prius Prime, okay. the silver so. sipper. I'm just gonna back all the way up. Okay. Oh, great, now the freaking. <laughs> all right, 
looking okay, I think. Yeah, except now the, the, <laughs> the tow truck is chasing me down. <laughs> There's like rocks that I know are over here. Mm. So I don't want to like... I don't want to hit any boulders. That's true. Mm. I think I'm okay now. <laughs> hey, Prius, we've got it. I'm going backwards. We're all <laughs> set with the beeps. <sighs> Just had to make sure you were aware. Yeah. yeah. Man, this is going to be the easiest episode we ever did, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready for the first item? Yeah. So wait, what are the rules you're going to try and get within... Within $500. $500. Okay, so okay. you show it to the screen. I'll look okay. away. So and then I'll guess. Okay, so what is it, Steve? It is a... All right, it's a Jawa 12 back A AFA 85 plus vinyl cape. Best example we have ever offered. We have ever offered, okay, uh, so, so that means. Hakes. That's, that's what Hakes has offered. So I'm gonna guess $30,000. 36,603. 36,603 <laughs> for vinyl cape Jawa. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> you ready for... Uh, Sorry, like all these cars are moving ahead. Yeah, yeah there's a lot going on here. Yeah. I'm going to kind of skip around so you okay, can... Because right now I think the way they have this organized is high to low, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to skip around. Okay. Alright, let's go for the second item, which is... I don't know if you can all read that. Okay. It is a Empire Strikes Back uh, Boba Fett 21 back AFA 70. AFA 70. Large circle extension sticker. So this, um, I don't know, that's pretty much all you need to know. Okay, so I, go, I guess I need to move here, because... Okay. <laughs> okay, so... so what, I guess what do I do, I guess? I guess I'll back up too. <laughs> I guess I'll go into the snowbank. Uh -oh. Fuck me, right? <laughs> uh, no swear. Alright, I guess I'll just go here. Alright, now don't get stuck right in front of this other person. <laughs> Right, I'm driving on a whole bunch of snow right yeah, now. We're making it. We are. How, how is it that the 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 thing comes out now? <laughs> the, the plow comes out now. Oh, hey, maybe we should plow. We have a plow. You know how expensive it is to have someone in crew. It costs a lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so. What's well, yeah, at least it's here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, who knows what they're doing? I'm just gonna chill out here. All okay. right. That sounds like a good. Okay. Plan. So, um, AFA, back AFA seventy. Yeah. I'm gonna say five thousand. <laughs> it's a good deal here. Thirty-two forty-five. Because it's AFA. I bet if it wasn't AFA, it would have gone for five thousand. <laughs> I paid four hundred for mine. Okay. Uh, my ESP twenty-one fat. <laughs> uh, no, I paid two hundred for it. Ooh, okay. But it's got kind of a crunchy bubble. All right. Speaking of of crunchy. Let's let's talk about an Anakin Skywalker first shot charcoal robe. All right, now Steve, what does it mean? What does a charcoal robe mean? So I think well, with the first shots for the Anakin figure, uh, like a, a signature characteristic is they had a darker charcoal. Hey, choo choo! <laughs> Look, it's the IC. <laughs> What's up, guys? Oh, I'm next to the tracks. Ah, you're gonna get me! Whoa! Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay. All right. So the first shots are, are, are noted by the, the darker charcoal colored robe versus the lighter gray of, of the production figure. So okay. It's, uh, it, oh, this one's also graded. I think almost all of this is probably graded. Yeah. AFA 85. Um, yeah. First shot, charcoal robe, Anakin Skywalker figure. Okay. First shot, Anakin Skywalker figure. Um, first, first shot for Anakin. I don't know, ten thousand. <laughs> Another steal, four thousand two hundred and eighty-three. That's not too much. Mm, I know some of these. I, I have no idea what's going on, but I feel like, oh, that's that's not so bad. Yeah. Um, okay, let's let's pop around here. Do they have salt on the back of the? If they don't have salt, then they're just. They gonna might be... just have the same thing happen. If, okay, so it's all ice. It's like a straight sheet of ice on a on it's a like a bobsled incline. Like run is what it kind of looks like. <laughs> but trying to get up. Where one. did the tow truck go? It just disappeared. <laughs> it, the tow truck just disappeared off the map. <laughs> okay, it came back. Okay, right. it's, it's back. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's see. Ooh, this is kind of fun. Okay, uh, Revenge of the Jedi mock up. Um, Proof card. Yeah, so. show, show it to the camera. Okay. See how much they can see it, okay? I don't know how 
much I can actually see this. Probably so it's one of those mock-up cards for Revenge of the Jedi that used to be sort of all together and maybe like Mark Catley had a bunch of them. And then I thought David DeMarchese, David, Possibly. how does he pronounce his name? God, I went over to his house, nice guy. I can't um, help but pronounce it the French way. So this is one of the ones that has the alternative logo. Right. Um, and yeah, it's just a blank black card with a different logo and okay. the white figure plate. So yeah, it's a proof card concept proof mock-up. All right. Well, I'm going to say under what I think it would go for. So okay. I will say $7,000 200 $22,066. See, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we need to bump me to the thousand and I get it. Yeah, I think so. 22,000 for that. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a super nice piece. They're they're all one of a kind. There's a bunch of them like that. Yeah. But they're all one of a kind. Now, okay, so now this the car that got stuck is down. Okay. So then the question is that, that's is anyone going to try one. to do it? Who's going to be the first Who's going to be the, the first transport that's away? And then, yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, like, practice is over in like an hour. Right. I was going to say, we might have ended up just staying here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hope it's worth it to row in place. God damn. <laughs> you try and teach, you try and instill values in these kids, you know? Hard work, <laughs> discipline. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Back to our, our market watch. Yeah. Um, oh. Okay, this is this is fun. Okay, this is one of those. So it's a it's a Leia. How do you say it? Do you say Bausch or Boosh? I say Boosh. Boosh. Okay, I think that's how I say it too. Uh, I think that's how they say it in the. In the if this were the old Kivecast, I'd like would put in a, like twenty five different commercials right. and be on there. Be like, what? What a Boosh? Yeah. But <laughs> so uh, this is a a Boosh figure that has one of those conceptual mock up attachments, like a. It looks like she has like a bazooka strapped to her head. All right, show, show the people. Okay, here we go. All I right. kind of recognize that, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's, I think this is probably the one that was on, it's from Gus's collection on the archive. Um, okay, so, so what, Gus is selling the Hakes? Maybe. Um, I, possible, Gus unless, is unless, this was, unless this was from someone else after him, I'm not, I'm not sure. Just, um, I thought Gus was above like, I thought if <laughs> Gus sold things, it was like directly to like the, like the, Mm, I the don't know. Emirate of Dubai or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, like there's like tiers, you know. There's mm. like eBay sellers. No, there's like do or not do sellers. <laughs> there's eBay sellers. They're like right. Around, no, eBay sellers are the lowest, and then do or not do sellers, right? And then, and then you get to your like your your auction, and then you get to your shady like behind the scenes deals, <laughs> and then you get your brokered through like people like Tom Derby who have like crazy connections to like shadowy gajillionaires. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I thought he was in that realm. Well, like I'm not at Hake's level right now. If I, <laughs> if I wanted to sell out my Chewbacca collection, I think I'd have to do it probably in the Rebel Scum marketplace. <laughs> oh my God, that'd be, I'd the be so gangster. Be, that would be amazing. That'd be so gangster if you did that. Just quietly just laid it all out there. <laughs> just the whole thing, just like original photo art and just saying like, I will only sell on Little scum marketplace. <laughs> uh, okay, so what do you think? What do you think this this <sighs> Boosh conceptual mock-up with blaster pack? What would the blaster pack? Is it a first shot of the figure? I feel like the figure is probably production. It's more just the the odd weapon right. enhancement thing. That's that's really the the key here. Okay. So I'm just watching the the, uh, okay. the we got some activity. The plow. I'm just okay. anticipating the plow just going off sideways and falling into the canal, <laughs> or, or straight into lighting us. on fire. Yeah. <laughs> straight into us. Um, okay. okay, so maybe we should have our wives pick them up. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna say because that's the coolest thing. It's got to be the coolest thing in this auction, and the photo so and the, the card art went for twenty two thousand. It's twenty five thousand. Only sixty four ninety. So, hey, it's two great blue hands, Steve. You see him up there? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> 6,400? 6,400, yeah. Not graded? Um, no. Oh, it makes sense, yeah. you know. <laughs> it's just a it's just a one of a kind just, just, conceptual yeah. mock up pre production <laughs> thing. How much did the FET go for? Uh, I feel like the FET was in the 4,000 something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's, let's find another few here. Oh, okay, How, let's go for the dis a display. Okay. So speaking of your your Hoth scene you were talking about, this is that kind of photo display of 
for Empire Strikes Back that has the snow battle. Not featuring the toys. But You're doing a terrible I, I job. Do, I can't see off. what I'm doing, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I won't look at the okay, price. But okay. I'll, I'll at least just you know, the, the thumbnails you, are small. Oh, wait, can you? Can you? I think do they're that? just uh, maybe. No. <laughs> so that one. <laughs> it's, it's not any better. No, <laughs> it's not. This is janky, Steve. This, this is janky, but <laughs> all right. Uh, store displays AFA what? Uh, AFA seventy five. It's the yeah. It's like twenty by thirty four, double sided. It's got the, the kind of like promo image of the Hoth battles. Not the toys, but just the, the yeah. promo stuff. So that's where we are right now. That's where we are, that's where we are right now. This is, this is the little scene right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. It can't... There's no way it can be more than the one-of-a-kind thing. So I will say okay. it went for $5,000. You know what you got this one? It was forty nine thirty two. Hey, look at that! <laughs> right on, right on. There you wow. go. Wow. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know if that's a lot or a little. We'd have to ask Will Grief. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I Can don't know. Can you text him? <laughs> I could. This is. I, I'm not a great multitasker, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I'm a Mr. Nice Guy. Steve, you're great at multitasking. <laughs> sure. Sure. Um, I'll do a commercial. Uh, hey, you have these Mentos gums? They're like really good. And, <laughs> and you'd think they'd be more expensive because Mentos is like more expensive. But then when you buy gum, are you texting them? I am. Okay. I'm going to take a screenshot of this. When, when you buy gum, you don't look at the price. You look at price per hundred or whatever it is, like per count. So don't look at the price. Look at the price per count. <laughs> this is the cheapest gum in the Wegmans line, even though it's like the tastiest gum. So that's my commercial. <laughs> For that. We'll get a line out to Will on this. Uh, I'm still doing terribly. Thanks for buying me a little bit of time. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Um, Just a little. So uh, what do I think about, about my Prius Prime? Uh, so I bought it used, uh, which is always a good deal. Uh, you can't buy an ecological car if you buy a new car, just so you know. Because um, the cobalt and stuff, you need to make the engine. So if you buy, like, if you think, like, I'm an engine, I'm an environmental guy, and you buy a new car, you're not. You're just a poser. You're just like the Tesla owner over there. <laughs> Actually, she's a nice lady. Okay. Um, so, yeah. But um, are, we, like, are we, like, making fun of Aaron's Hoth story and also dissing people buying new Teslas when he's a Tesla dealer? Um, based on what I've been hearing while doing this, it sounds like possibly. Okay. All right. Well, if you do want a Tesla, go see your hair long by and a Tesla Buffalo. Assume is what it's called. Uh, <laughs> give him my name for probably no discount at all. Right. Um, so, uh, what did he say, Steve? He's, I just sent it. He's on. He's hopefully he's active now. So hopefully he's active now. Okay, good. All right. So that's sold for five grand, which seems like I don't really collect. I definitely don't collect uh, displays, so it's gone. So can we go now? I think this might be our... our oh, oh, no. Okay. Nope, he's still plowing. Okay. <laughs> right, I almost did the Mr. Plow song. It's becoming I, a real episode, I, Steve. I think we were well on our way to having Mr. Plow at some point, so I'm actually surprised it hasn't happened already. <laughs> um, okay, so up next, let's see, what can we do? Hmm. You didn't have to do all of them, just interesting ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... I mean, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit of a mix here. Um, but 6K can get you the... The the crazy concept rocket launcher thing. Yeah. yeah that's... Um, okay, all right, let's go for... Oh, okay. We're going to go for a Takara Darth Vader 7-inch series, so the bigger figures. Okay. It's... Yeah, this, yeah it's not going to help if I zoom in on this at all. But does it have the Stoom Trooper text or no? Uh, that's a good question. Let's see if I can find out. Um, I It'll have know. like a little diagonal thing. Uh, Show me. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, that looks like. I think, I think that it, looks like Stoom I Trooper. think it does. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's a Stoom Trooper <laughs> text Darth Vader Takara, AFA eighty, the seven inch kind of bigger sculpt Vader from Japan. So what do you think? I don't. This is gonna freak me out because I've. I bought one for 250 bucks. A Vader? No, I mean or the, the Chewy. Chewy. Okay. I bet it's probably more than that. <laughs> $250 you said for your <laughs> yeah. Chewy? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I sold it to Dean for 250 That's because I because I bought a graded one for 500 Okay. I bought an AFA. I think it was 80 mm -hmm. This is an AFA 80 if that helps. Yeah. <laughs> so that was 500 So okay. let's, let's say what, that... What year was that? That was 2000... <laughs> Seven. Okay. Two thousand eight. Okay. So let's say it's let's tripled. Fifteen hundred dollars. 
<laughs> Not quite. Seventy three hundred. So uh, seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand three hundred ninety eight. So about seventy four hundred dollars. Yeah. Is, is there Thirteen something? Bids. Is there something rare about a Takara Vader? Um, not. I mean, there might be, but it's nothing that it's like right, immediately can, can, coming to attention. Can you can you text Andy Dwoney? He'd know, right? <laughs> You're probably not on first name basis, texting basis with Andy Dwoney. Um, probably not. But go to, go to the Toy Cave. That's his thing, right? <laughs> that is. Yeah, He's and, Toy Cave, and yeah. James Gallo is the Toy castle toy haunt no <laughs> Peel castle is john paul and yes. go there too toy chamber is toy chamber is todd chamberlain, chamberlain. yeah <laughs> james gallo i know i, it. I feel like there's a leprechaun involved mm, i wasn't gonna say that but <laughs> <laughs> what, we'll comics to, and toys like that, et cetera is there a heaven involved heaven there's heaven involved. yes com yeah. toy heaven yeah that's it thank you okay all right we got that cleared good um Okay, let's see. Um, what else is interesting here? We did that. We did that. Oh, and mention our names if you ever buy from the Toy Cave or uh, the Toy Chamber uh, or the Imperial Castle, and you'll get a ten percent uh, surcharge. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Enter uh, Sky and Steve at checkout to be charged more. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be yeah fair. Um, okay, let's let's do this. Are we ever going to get up this hill, Steve? I don't know. That's this is this might be it for us. You know, it might I, be. Yeah. Until until your daughter's like, oh, why why are you still here? Yeah. Um, okay, let's do. It's a uh, a first shot of the Yoda hand puppet from oh. Empire Strikes Back. I actually I saw one of these just a production one of these in the museum yesterday. I'm like, oh yeah, there you go. Um, okay, so this is a. So what makes it different? Show show it again. Okay. What what makes it different? Is it like different colors? Yeah. So this doesn't have. It's not painted. So it's just like a, kind of a cream colored material plastic um yeah so unpainted uh hand puppet first shot yoda from 1981 uh, it's eight inches tall beige okay beige that's that's so it's not green not green no all right uh <laughs> i don't even know anymore <laughs> no we, i mean yeah um two thousand dollars Thirty-eight ninety-four, so less than the the rocket launcher, but the Takara Vader also, cost more than the rocket did. launcher. Wow. Yeah, okay. it did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Will did get back to us. Yeah, what do you say? Okay, let's see. This I'll read this off. Okay, Will says, sure. I guess it's appropriate. I think prices are down a bit from a couple years ago, but it's still five k. The toy scene gondola ESB display sold at Hague's for ten thousand a few years back. Hey. Look so at that. that's a data point there. That's that's helpful. The movie data. scene, <laughs> the movie scene one is a bit rarer, but the toy scene is more popular. Which I guess that makes sense with toy collectors. So this was the movie scene. Yeah, this is the movie scene. Okay. Yeah. So there you got it. You got live commentary right there. Thank All you, right. Will. <laughs> thank you. Will. Don't text him. Thank you. He'll <laughs> see it on the episode when he doesn't watch it. That's you know yes. doing due diligence here. Um, okay. Okay. Now, well, do say thank him. I'm Mr. Nice Guy again. <laughs> He's back. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm trying to think of something else that might throw us for a loop. Hmm. Okay. Well, we could also talk about the Bill Cable thing. Yeah. That. I mean, that's happened since I've been out here. Right? Yeah. Right. That happened so, probably the day I got here. So there's this weird thing, right? Do you have Bill, Bill's number on there? Um. I don't think I have his phone number, but I have. I, mean, I do. I'm recording on my phone. Yeah. I can. I can send him a. Oh my God! Message. They're throwing out salt. Thank Jeebus. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna text him through Messenger. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, just uh, just give him your phone number and say, "Hey, call. We, we're recording a podcast, and we want to we, we want to have him on the line. Okay. We want to have you talk about why everyone's buying all your stuff so expensive now. Uh, and you know, the, I know the reason why, even if everyone else doesn't know the reason why. <laughs> okay. Give you a hint." I mean, it's us. Mr. Nice Guy doesn't make jokes about being a jerk anymore. <laughs> <sighs> well, look at those pricks jogging in this weather. They just feel so good about themselves, don't they? Yeah, you do. <laughs> this is a mess. I got a text. Oh, my, wait, Apple CarPlay? I can find my texts on this thing. This is great. 
it might be from my uh, my pickleball buddies. Because, like, I want to play pickleball, but they stopped inviting me. And so I thought it was because I was too obnoxious. Because every time I had said the score, I would say it like the count. <laughs> Seven serving five. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Which, to me, you know, that was funny. But, okay, so phone. I'm so going to hang up this thing. Oh, uh, that's a good, there's a good chance. So, so yeah, what, okay, what I'm not, not going to goof with it. I'm, okay. I'll be my voice, my voice mail some other time. Okay. I, I've reached okay. out. We will see. All right, so then why don't we do one more Hakes auction okay, thing? Okay, while we wait. And then come back to Bill. Okay. Because um, we'll just have right. him, like, through a speaker, and it'll probably sound bad. It, might, it might sound a little... Hmm. Should we do a poster, or is that not as interesting to you? What, what kind of poster? It's... Let's see. It is a... It's a six-sheet poster from 77. Okay, so that's like a big old honky. 77 by 7, 77 inch. That's appropriate. Keep saying seven. Yeah, I can't. I, I dare I have you. to stop. I double dare you. I really you. need to stop. <laughs> Six sheet, not seven sheet. <laughs> okay, 77 sheet, 77. <laughs> so it's for the original movie. Um, oh, he's out for dinner at the moment. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll, we'll touch for dinner. Somebody. Bill, it's 4.30. <laughs> It's 4.30, Bill. Don't lie to us. It's because you don't want to be on our podcast. No, Mr. Nice Guy. It's very possible. He's having a Permanente sub right now. The rest of his yins. <laughs> All right, so then, okay. okay. Well, let's get to this poster, and then we'll talk about, about Bill Cable fever. Okay. Sounds good. All right, so this poster, it's 77 by 77 <laughs> from 1977. <laughs> now a... I want this thing. <laughs> okay, it's a six sheet. Is it, six is, sheet. It, is it a British quad? What is it? Um, like what I, art is it? The Tom Young art? It's the it Tom. It's the Tom Young kind of classic style A art, but just in a in a square format. Square. Yeah. Let me see. That doesn't look square. <laughs> I could say the measurement again. <laughs> 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 um, okay, so it had eight eight bids. I'm not. I this is. I mean, I love the posters, but in terms of the values on them, I, that yeah. I would I had no idea. So. Yeah, it's a it's a large poster. So sometimes that that can be kind of tough for people that don't have room to to display it or to get it backed and framed and all that. So what do you think this? Yeah, but at the same time, a lot of collectors have a lot of money. That's and the, true. And a lot of them end up buying those like big houses mm. that have too many rooms, they have giant walls, and like they yeah. just don't know like like the great room. So I, yeah. I don't know. I don't like that's a problem for like. Like, you know, like, we have small spaces, but a lot of people who would drop Dosh on this, like, you they know, probably live, live in, a... like, suburban Charlotte in, like, a <laughs> 11, 11 bedroom tutor. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Um, so, so what do you think? <laughs> what was I talking about? <laughs> what do you think this gigantic original Star is it, Wars Is it possible to get yourself carbon dioxide poisoning in an electric car? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to say... That, that's the sequel to Blade Runner, by the way. Um, uh, $2,000. Okay. If we're going with the $1,000 window, yeah. you've got it. It's $2,800. So. That's reasonable. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's a nice piece of art. Is it linen backed? Uh, don't, I'm not sure. I don't have the full description. But, um, yeah. That, that seems like it's not crazy to me. Um, okay. So, did you want to end that there? Or well, is, there, is, there, is there another good one or no? Let's see if there's another, like, good one. Let's see. Displays, more Boba Fett's. There's the, ooh. Okay, how about the, the Takara wind-up art, or not, not sorry, not Takara, the, the Canadian uh, wind-up R2-D2. Yes. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. Um, the Canadian issue of the scarce Takara uh, wind-up R2-D2. And you're not gonna know what it looks like, but there it is. That's such uh, a nice piece. It's really, really fun. If I didn't like have a stupid focus and I just bought stuff that I liked, that that's your eclectic collection would have this in totally. it. Totally. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah, what do you what do you think? It's um, oh, AFA sixty. Mm. <laughs> At that point, just ungrade it. Right. <laughs> Eight bids. So so it's like that's like a three thousand dollar piece that's going to go for. Six hundred. Four thousand nine hundred ninety-seven. Like I said, it's a four thousand <laughs> yeah, dollar right. piece. Okay. Yeah. Hey, props to you, Star Wars collectors, for not buying the bad grade as being a big deal. Yeah. No, it's just, it's an awesome, awesome. Hey, piece. what if I didn't record? That would be a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> I see a time. A, a yeah, time yeah, yeah. Clock you see the time that's, code. That's good. We finally have nice framing on this. The first one I was like over here. That was more like, <laughs> like this. Yeah. <laughs> or it was more like the top of my head. Um, okay. 
All right, that's a pretty good market watch. All right, you want some moisturizer? <laughs> <laughs> we're doing like live ads. Or, okay. Yeah. Top care. <laughs> when you're absolutely positive, we don't feel like paying for a vino. <laughs> At what point did our society decide that the best thing to do was to moisturize with oatmeal? Oh my God, I got my sticker on. Now I can't get the sticker off. Okay. We're in picture. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. So, so um, yeah, so the deal with Bill Cable. Why don't you go on uh, Do or Not Do and just uh, look up all the things. I haven't selling. even seen how some of them have been doing. Let's see. So if you don't know, Bill Cable has been for... 15 years, maybe longer, might, making might longer, yeah. droids, custom figure, uh, custom card backs, along with, uh, oh crap, I'm getting a, I'm getting a text from one of the people who's here. Let, let me, okay. Let, let me see what they're saying. Hey, I got your text. I don't know the, the plow. Oh, we're... I, you have all wheel drive. I don't. So <laughs> whoever has all wheel drive should go first. Then I'll get stuck. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay, so, um, so Bill Cable's been doing these a couple a year. Yeah. Every year, forever. Yeah. And there's a couple things to know. You can do it. Okay, well, I'll probably see. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. so, so there's first of all one of the truest maxims in the world. If you want to know what is going to go up. You talk to Yehuda Kleinman and say, what have you been collecting lately? He's the forecaster. He's absolutely the forecaster. He was ahead of the Lego thing by a couple years. Dude didn't even care. Dude didn't even know what a Lego Death Star was when he was given one by one of his customers. I was like, you know, Yehuda, you should save this. It might be worth something sometime. Now he has like one of the most elite Lego collections in the world. This, yeah. this side of Goldenberg, you know? Um, and so he has been, you know, very seriously collecting uh, uh, Bill Cable's pieces. His originals, yeah, yeah his from, customs, yeah. From the very beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, and now, finally, okay, so I got Definitely. a text, so I'm just There's, gonna assume that. Means. Maybe maybe one is away. <laughs> first transport is away. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first thing. So uh, Yehuda's also been collecting uh, foreign comics mm -hmm. and uh, cassettes, so yeah. just do that. Just do that because that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing that's gonna happen next. Yeah. The, so the hard copy body parts. Yeah. Yeah. So beyond that fact, uh, so Bill Cable's made these things and they are objectively awesome. And he makes them and he makes a limited number of them and he sells them out instantly. Yep. And he doesn't sell them for a lot of money and he doesn't remake them. He knows exactly how to make a collectible. And so, are we, are we, what time is it here? Um, 4.30, 30 so we'll come back in an hour yeah yeah we'll see if, if that one if that one makes it we'll, we'll see if i get stuck maybe just make sure the thing doesn't fall yeah at this point we're just I'll, talking I'll stabilize okay um so uh all of a sudden it used to be that you know i like i have the chewbacca and i think i bought maybe the emperor's royal guard mm -hmm. just because they're so cool um, like they're very cool. So do we do we explain what they are exactly? I, I might not have been thinking. Yeah, yeah. Why, why don't you describe it? So they're he takes. I'm gonna try and make classic. it up the hill. <laughs> Woo! Come on, come on, Silver Zipper. This is not music. We need the music. This is not. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we got it. We got it. Got it. Oh yeah. We we made it. Okay. Oh. I didn't do my job. Okay. Yeah, so he's been making, so he does original art, right? Bill Cable is a great artist. He's done a lot of the archive party artwork yeah. over the years. Yeah. He's a good friend of ours. He hates this podcast. He's never listened to it because he thinks it's too long. And he said that from the very beginning. But we love him. He's a very, very cool guy. He doesn't like the fact that I pointed out that he looks and talks a lot like J.K. Simmons. Uh, your wife took a lot better when I said that she reminds me a lot of Emma Stone, which apparently she doesn't get. <laughs> Um, anyways, so that's that's yeah, they're, so they're classic, like the first, like the non droids figures, but done in droid style. Like yes. the card, the card back art is a, a completely original image depicting said character. Yes, yeah. and I, then he takes. I the, have to do a fist pump to. Uh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, we made it. Okay. Woo! We did it! Yeah! <laughs> um. Oh, oh, speed bump. Um, yeah, so 
they're really cool and he doesn't always do the most popular characters he has done the popular characters he always like doesn't like the droids art where there's right. just way too many droids just characters a lot of in stuff there. going on um just like yeah it's not like what you want you know what i mean no i mean this in a really good way like the same way that the droids artwork is rarely like exactly what it's you want a little odd because yeah. you're like well, okay so mon Julpa's in this artwork why do i care about mon Julpa? who by the way was was, was in the museum was in the museum yeah. of play yeah. when the uh when uh the beaming pilot wasn't maybe we should finish this uh, over there on that recreation of a uh of a barge what do you think of that <laughs> sure because i mean at this point what are we doing right? i don't know I think we should finish the podcast. Pro while probably, walking. probably, yeah. Oh, you want while walking? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. Yeah, this uh, is a good closer, right? The, the yeah, 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 yeah. Story. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my wife is calling me, so can you text? Yeah. She's saying that we're almost, we're almost making our way back. <clears throat> Sorry, honey, but we've got to commit to a bit. All right. So we're just here at one of the locks, Steve. So the Erie Canal had all these locks where the water would raise and lower. And uh, this is one of the historic locks. Okay. And they have this cool um, uh, playground area. And that's supposed to look like an old uh, a lock thing, a boat. Okay. And the thing a lot of people don't know about the Erie Canal is they didn't, the boats weren't powered by themselves. They were powered by donkeys. And, and what does my daughter say when she's, my baby daughter say when she sees a donkey? <laughs> Wait, I don't know if I've heard her say it yet. Oh, she says, ah-ee. Oh, okay, that's what, I've heard the ah-ee, I didn't know what yeah, the tie was. Yeah, so okay. she has the donkey backwards. <laughs> ah-ee. Okay, so getting back to Bill Cable, who definitely hate this. So he has these awesome art pieces, and everyone's known they're cool. And in the last, like, three days, there has been a fever on do or not do, right? Check this out, right? How cool is that? Do you see how it looks like a boat, Steve? Yeah, I got it. Okay. You see? Yeah. <laughs> I look at that snow. And uh, these snow my little my little kicks. loafers, yeah. <laughs> you know, loafers. <laughs> so they've been just going like crazy. Uh, they've been just selling for for how much, Steve? Okay, that's right. That was my job. Oh, just to look up. It's okay. What they were. It's a nice guy. Doesn't complain. Okay. Well, I was texting. To yeah, the, I know you were texting. Know we were safe. Yes. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see. I kind of got to take a leak. <laughs> That's Should another reason to end, end in the, the snow. <laughs> 127, is it? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. This is great. This means that we don't have to record the next one until April. Because <laughs> I didn't think we were going to get, like, Chris and Gus and Ron all together before the end of the month. Yeah, that, that was going to be tough. Given... And plus, we're getting Ruciano on there to help us out with it. Yeah, it's going to be a better better production. Oh, okay. plus we can talk about fantasy baseball. Mark Ruciano drafted three catchers in the baseball league. He's never going to live that one down. Three okay. catchers. Three. It's a one-catcher league, by the way. So, man, that dude is sick for catcher. Let's see. I'm going to find... Okay, this is a lot. Yes. So what happens is this. On do or not do, something sells, and then all of a sudden, everyone's like, oh, my God, i got to put out all my cable stuff. So people have put out, like archive party proofs someone is selling okay. the archive party original art of boba mutt yes. which is of my yeah, dog yeah, yeah. Yeah. my dog's soul is being sold on do or not do <laughs> and i'm not even bidding more than 125 dollars okay so this is a lot of let's see how many okay just, he doesn't know how to use facebook no i, I swear really i have don't. to teach him how to use his phone he's like how do i unlock it looks like it's three figures so it's the yeah it's the reese gamorian guard and squid head how and much do they sell for? Looks like it went for seven hundred dollars for the for the trio. Yeah. So, if you spent seventy bucks on each of them, then that's a lot of money. That's a lot of profit. But I got to tell you something. <laughs> now that they've sold for seven hundred, they're going to sell for thousands. <laughs> no, that's how the world works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that there is a market, right? And this is why goofy ass crap like our archive party things are not that goofy because once someone decides right Ooh, this is not a fun one what okay this is uh, an emperor and emperor's royal guard pair i don't have the emperor oh wow oh, i know but i don't really collect emperor stuff since i sold that thing to brock <laughs> okay brock killed my em emperor picked it up over his head uh, yeah, mr palpatorian <laughs> full armed operational emperorium i might even end up selling my uh emperor that was in Collinwood's book just kidding 
someone else is in someone else's collection. Okay. I remember I kept on saying it. That's right. And whoever it is that actually has it is like, why do you keep saying that? Because <laughs> I forgot. Right? Okay, so this okay. this pair of the Emperor and the Guard yeah. went for $700 as well. So this is the thing. Oh my God, that's so much. They spent 140 bucks for it. Hey, no, it's not. Like Bill's work is so damn good. Yeah. He had the foresight to do something really awesome that was limited and collectible and it absolutely has its own value and now there are people trying to put it together there's this guy named james coleman steve you know who he is i the name is familiar but i don't, I don't know him in personally no. so i'm a, i'm on the dianoga thing which is the thing that took over for mock right man those guys hate that dude they do yeah i don't oh. really know anything about him i don't have any beef with him i don't know if i i say nothing bad or good about him i don't know what it is except man like when they when, when they have it for somebody they really have it so that's all i know is that they 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 are really they're, they're trying to put it put together a, um the whole as many as possible i guess yeah okay um but like it's a part of our hobby it's a part of our collection so yeah. all over the place like all over the dianoga all over the fake page people are making jokes about like you know selling bill's hair or selling a cable <laughs> bill and so the question is why is this all happening now steve because the Kive cast came back. And who did we come back with, Steve? Oh, Mr. With Cable Bill himself. Cable. Yeah. And the original art, the original art that Bill drew of the bicycle sale. So oh, right. I that's won right. that that's Vader right. 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 and that original Listen. Bill Cable all, drawing for all. an absolute steal. Because everyone else didn't want to spend the money because it's a worthless figure. So. Well. Good news for you. Yes. Boba Mutt is still only at 150 right now. God, do I have to buy a drawing of my own dog? Do I have to buy a drawing of my own dog? <laughs> <sighs> so then, okay, now the Bill Cable bubble's broken. Because <laughs> that should be going up for more. Or maybe people just like... The they want the, the his, uh, not not tied to, to us specifically. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, More Bill, less, less Steven Sky. Yeah, yeah. You could just sort of do a, a, a Kive cast automy. That would be great. <laughs> uh, well, there you yeah. have it. Well, there you have it. So, um, oh my, there was some other thing I was thinking about ending this podcast with. I don't remember what it is. <laughs> so, just, well, hey, we made it. We're on the road, so that's that's good. <laughs> we did. Should we like try to like keep talking till we get back and then show the Panasonic thing so I don't have to edit it together? <laughs> no, because we're gonna get in the house and it's just gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy. Just look at our show notes. It's yeah. cool. It's great. Or you can find it on Do or Not Do. That's true. Well, you about, can so, find, you no, can no, find no, your, no. Yeah, you, you yeah, you can right find now. your winning bid. I'm gonna look it up right yeah. now. I think it was two hundred bucks. So I said it on the on the live stream thing. Yeah. My problem with Do or Not Do is like I am so afraid of losing something when go. I would totally spend more. If this had a buy it now of 500. Truly beautiful. If it had a buy it now of 500, right? This little bear orgy that's going on here. <laughs> if I had, if it's 500, I would have just put it down. But I didn't know what to put down. So I put down a hundred dollars and then it was like insulting. And I ended up winning it for 200, which is great. But like yeah. I, I could have lost it. But. Yeah, if this didn't have Chewbacca, if you had no interest in this, I would have definitely a couple hundred bucks on really? it. Yeah. That's cool. It's no, it's this this thing is amazing. It's yeah, so cause, good. Because I love Ewoks. Yeah, just keep keep showing. Okay. Oh yeah, let's right? do that. Because it's Bye. it's it's yeah. basically an it's basically a Bespin Endor mashup. Because <laughs> it looks like the weather vane yeah. from Bespin and we got the clouds underneath there. Yeah. Right? And then we just have this weird sort of what what's the term when when multiple dudes do it at the same time? Uh, it's not a train, right? <laughs> like, what do you call that? I guess that doesn't actually happen. Or I mean, it probably happens, but it's probably not a thing. Like when you're like in middle school and you talk about it. So. I think my phone just died. Sorry, everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Anyway, it well, is a, it's a beautiful, beautiful item. It's a beautiful item, and that we'll, uh, we'll re recreate whenever we do go to a celebration. <laughs> yes, I, I'm going to cosplay as George Lucas, and uh, <laughs> wh whoever whoever uh, bids enough money. Will uh, get to be uh, wicked. <laughs> wicked. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So then, I guess I would say for the Bill Cable thing, I would just say watch this space because I think fan-made collectibles of high quality. Yeah. Such as the 
card backs that we made <laughs> and the collectible things. They are going to go up in value. Right now, they haven't, but they definitely will. And it's definitely worth having them. Yeah. And, you know, that goes for the coins, the collector patches, all the weird stuff and all Just, that. Yeah, I mean, hobby history, basically. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Steve. Well, we're almost home. It's way too hot in this car. I can't believe we actually got Did out. you actually start a log in here as well? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> What's it gonna be like when we get home? They're gonna like think that we're just like having fun because we probably had a lot of fun. we were stuck there for a legitimately long yeah, time. We really were stuck there. We only took an extra three minutes. We have the timestamp to prove it. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah, this this is a, a good suggestion from from Tessa. Like, why don't you just record now? Like, yes. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> a good idea. Uh, all, right. all right. Well, I'm well, glad we're able to do this, Steve. Yeah. Right, this is awesome. Thing, uh, fist oh yeah. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Wampa wampa. Adios, everyone.